Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our pleat control system in a creative way. It consists of this pleat control chain and these small quick attach detach rings. And these small rings are typically used at the bottom of a Roman shade where you knot the cord and then you can easily detach it. But today we're going to use it in a little bit different way. The chain is used at the bottom of a drapery panel to control the pleats, and that'll be shown in another video. But today I'm going to show you with my small sample here. This is just a simple gathered treatment. The bottom of this panel is cut square, and it's a valance that we want to look like a stationary balloon shade when it's finished. So I'm going to show you on the back here. I have sewn the quick attach detach rings about five inches apart on this particular sample. And what I'm going to be doing is running this pleat control chain through these rings. And you'll notice that the neck of the ring is quite small. And you can actually snap this ring right into the chain. And it'll stay. So with this project, I'll go ahead and thread this through and this will permanently stay in this little valance. This is great using it in the bottom of a balloon shade or you can use it in a valance. Snap that in. And then I'm going to draw these together. Now we, what we used to do when a client wanted a balloon shade or something that was gathered at the bottom with some fullness we would sew regular rings on and then tie these together. But what that does when you tie your rings together, it keeps the pleats very close and it doesn't look full. So by doing this, I can actually count the number of beads and we'll, we'll put three beads in between each one of these and see how that looks. Go ahead and snap that in. It's very easy to do and this is just sewn on. You can tack it on with by machine or ha by hand. It helps to kind of flip the ring around and get a little leverage and then push it down on the table. You can see how this is coming together. It's pulling the folds together yet they're staying apart. And this pleat control chain is different from the chain that we use on our Roman shades. That chain, the beads are much closer together. Snap that in. I'll turn it over before I do the other side so you can see the look. You can see how these folds are pulled apart a little bit. So when that is up, it's gathered and you can actually see the folds. If they had been sewn tightly, it would have been scrunched up. So this gives a nice soft look. I'll go ahead and do the other side and then we'll hang it up so you can see it finished. I finished dressing this and you can see how these folds are separated here. And this would be impossible to achieve this look without that pleat control chain. So if you've got a balloon shade or any type of treatment where you want to have permanent folds in it, this is a perfect solution. And if this were an operable shade, what we would do is choose the number of rings we wanted to sew onto the shade. And then just above the last ring, we would actually sew our working ring. And then that would be the ring that we would attach the uh, operable cords to. So the bottom part of the shade would remain stationary and then it would actually start functioning above that ring. And we'll show you that in another video when we've got an operable shade. But this particular one is just a valance. It's a great look. It's very easy to do. And again, the bottom was just cut straight. I also want to point out on the back side, we've got this microcord. And this is actually made with our sausage bead weight. And what's great about this is it gives the overall appearance of a microcord, but also weights the bottom of the valance. So it, it has a nice look. It allows you to dress the folds here and uh, creates a nice detail as well. And that's our pleat control chain and the quick attach detach rings and also our sausage bead weight.